hello you guys good morning I am just back from dropping off Ozzy I had to stop at the fruit place and also at the bakery the bakery I didn't have to stop but I stopped anyway I got some lunch for Paul Ozzy and I obviously Alex eats at school but I got look at the size of that it is a uh, Panino Napolitano and a hot dog. So there's a big sausage in there. The usual stuff. But it's been a couple of weeks since I got some of this. So I just got some for Paul and I for lunch. And Ozzy will have some of that hot dog as well. And then I also got some of these. They call them brioche here, but this is not brioche. This is milk bread. So delicious. So I've got some of those. Get five for a one year old. I also went to the fruit and um, fruit and veg place. I'm going quite, quite to a, a heated discussion with the guys there. So I got some bananas. I also got some carrots. They come with the the green stuff. Do you guys eat that green stuff? I usually just keep it for like stock or throw it out to be honest. And I also got one of these is this cauliflower or broccoli. It's cauliflower, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway, got one of those. But I asked them, do you have any Brussels sprouts? They did, they looked dingy as hell and basically it was like a tiny little tray. So I assume it's not like a super tradition. Hold on, let me just open the window. Some hot, I was just in the car. It said it was 19 degrees in December. Uh, so yeah, I digress, but let me go back. So I asked if they had any parsnips and I translated it used, using Google Translate and it came back as pastinaca and they were like, oh, pastinaca. Um, and they pointed to something else. I was like, no, that's not what I want. So I went on Google and showed him a picture of the parsnips and um, they were like, huh? One of them was like, what is that? The other one was like, oh, it's a carrot. It's a white carrot. And I was like, no, it isn't. It is not a white carrot. Um, oh, but the, it's in the family of the carrots. So I was like, sure, like cheese is in the family of milk, but it's not the same. So they were like, by, by this point, all four of the guys were around me. There was no one else there. Uh, I always go really early. They're still setting up. So they were laughing at the guy, like, oh, she's right. Um, but yeah, they don't have it. They were like, what, what, how do you eat it? So I explained that I usually cooked it in the oven um, with like honey and olive oil and rosemary. And they were like, oh, uh, they were interested, but they don't have it. So I'm gonna ask Jill to bring some back. But I was quite, quite um, impressed with myself that I got into this discussion and even like had a bit of banter with them um, in Italian, you know, like broken Italian, but they got it. And then, um, yeah, they also said they're gonna get some fresh Brussels sprouts next week and he'll keep me a tray or two. I was like, brilliant, because it's only like little trays. To be fair, one tray is probably enough, but yeah, that's it. So anyway, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a Christmas tour today. Today it ends. Right, I can't believe it's like the 12th or something of December and I haven't done a tour. I'm gonna do that, but first I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen and I, I wanna put a stew on, so let's do that.
Okay, stew is in. I added one big potato diced um, to it. And My intention just... is to then do orzo with it. I need to go get orzo from the supermarket. I'll do that on my way out to pick up Ozzy. That's it. Now, let me give you a house tour. So Tori, you guys, what do you think? I have tried very hard um, not to over decorate, mainly because of Aussie. I, I mean, if it was up to me, I would go all out. But 
he just touches everything so like the little incidental tables that we have or the corner tables don't have anything on it because everything is for the grabs um, my favorite it's obviously the shelf my actual favorite on the shelves is the tins i just love that so so much how it all turned out there's a couple there so that yellowy one and that checkered one at the back they're not christmas but everything else is christmas and i basically use these to store items you know um but i also use them of course i mean you can't even see there's like a gingerbread house at the back there i also use them um to store stuff like biscuits and things like that they're all empty at the moment but this turned out so adorable. And this is just tins that I've collected or I've been given over the years. That was a present from my friend Carly. That was a present from Paul that came, both came with biscuits from m and I think. Um, that and that one are actually, actually musical tins, so you can spin them. And that one has a tea light inside, so you can put it on. Uh, so yeah. That is actually my favorite. This, is it a bit much? I've just put a candle. Now, I'm only got candle on because Ozzy's not here. Is this a bit much? It's just some bows that I bought. Put them there to um, sort of hide the coffee. And again, usually I would display all of this on the table and things like that, but it's just not worth it with Ozzy at the moment. So I've just left and it. In here, you guys the trees and the houses. I'm gonna be honest with you, this year, it feels like it's missing something. I think it might be the little lights. Yeah, I might put some like battery lights all around it. I think it needs a little something extra. And obviously I've just done a tour, but didn't show you that. <laughs> that in the corner. And again, the Christmas tree, it's all with uh, decorations that if they fell, if they were pulled to the floor, they would not break. And quite a lot of them were gifted to me by you guys. So they have a lot of special meaning. Um, and there's a lot of them. Like these are Alex's fingerprints, you know, like little thumbs when he was probably about three. Yeah, so this is the one I bought this year from the nuns. You guys remember if you saw my, my video? Yeah, this is where I ended up hanging the stockings. There's one for Jill. So this is Ozzy's. This is mine, Alex's, Jill's, and Paul's. Or is this Paul's? No, this is Paul's, and mine is that one. They're the same. So yeah, just put them there, because obviously I don't have a fireplace. Nothing here, it's because Ozzy. And toys-wise, we've done a massive clear out. A lot of these bins are like a lot less full, which is awesome. And you guys, where's Mary and Joseph? And the, the what's it called? The shepherd's gone as well, I've noticed. Now I know. I'm pretty sure I saw Mary in the car. But Joseph and the shepherd are probably under the sofa. God knows, or in one of these boxes. So I need to The find other thing that I still need to do is to decorate the top floor, basically Jill's bedroom. I'll probably do that next week. Jill arrives next week as well. So I'll make her bed fresh and do up her room. So yeah. Now, let me show you. You guys know that I'm doing this. We're doing this present for this other boy called Alex. Let me show you okay, what so I got. If you remember, they wanted a coat and a here's the coat that we got him. This we went to Decathlon and they actually had him have an amazing selection. And I got him this one, which is actually a three in one, you guys. So it's a fleece. It's also a raincoat just on his own. And when you zip it together, then you have a winter coat. It comes with a hood that is lined which is awesome. And this is the brand. I assume this is like um, the Decathlon. Yeah, it looks like it's a Decathlon brand. I thought this was really cool. So got that. I also got him a little pair of gloves also there. And then toys wise, 
this is what we we have now i got him a little alex was with me to choose and i'm going to be honest you guys alex still appreciates a nice cuddly toy he has his favorites so we thought because uh, these smaller toys are all to put in the pockets uh, we got one of this pop here so we put batteries in which we will and then they light up and he can do the pop i mean i got alex one for christmas because alex wanted it straight away as well so i thought yep we'll get him that a little soft toy and then we ended up going we intended to buy a ball but um they didn't have any in the toy shop which was crazy so in the end i decided to go for monopoly and also a little uno express my reasoning being this is something the whole family can play or he can play with friends or siblings um I don't know. I thought that was a good idea. Paul was like, mm, don't know, because Paul is not a fan of Monopoly. But I grew up playing Monopoly with my brother and my cousin. So I think it's on awesome. Christmas Day. They can play with their parents and, you know, like I'm making it more of a family affair. And the same with Uno, um, while still giving him a little toy and a little personal puppet. That's my thinking. I also I did a bag a full bag of sweets like this and I'll probably put one of these in his pocket as well look just loads of bags to distribute by all the children now while I was at the toy shop they actually um when I bought I bought a little game for Alex I'll show you actually because it's it's here hold on Alex was with me like I said he wanted this you guys remember this <laughs> so I got him this this was a fiver but basically it's for charity so when you buy one of these you get the teddy which I was like oh okay um so you got this teddy it came with a naff little jumper but what I thought I would do is I will get a silky bow and put it on him and put it in a bag and I'll give it to the center um, again, if just in case there's another child that doesn't have a toy, because um, he's sweet, right? I think he's sweet, so he just needs a big bow. I also got, while I was at the place, got this for Ozzy. Well, Alex picked this as his present to Ozzy. It's like a soft dinosaur. I got this for my Alex. He saw these and he's like, oh, that looks cool. So I picked it up for him. And like I said, I got him a pop it as well. Pop hit, I think they're called. I need to wrap it all. And then um, at some point this week, Paul and I will drop it off at the now, center. I'm going to end this video here because I've just edited that bit there that you guys have seen. And it's like 18 minutes. So I'm going to finish it here, but I'm going to start filming straight away. And do a part two so you guys can see the orzo stew thing tonight but also this afternoon i want to make some golden syrup because there is no golden syrup here and i want to make gingerbread so i'm going to do golden syrup and depending on how the afternoon goes what's the vibe i might make some gingerbread though i might wait until tomorrow we'll see how it goes but either way the next video you'll see the continuation of this one thank you as always if you are still here listening to me babble babble on um i will see you guys next time bye